previous videos, we've discussed the situation, the crime situation in New York, the prostitution, the crime, the gangs, uh, we the homeless, the mentally ill situation, and we did leave out a part of it because this is kind of important as well. There was a point in New York we had laws uh, that basically uh, you couldn't do certain things. You know, one, one of the things was exposing yourself. That was law. That law has seemed to have been taken away because of the homeless, mentally ill situation, drug use, the homeless population. You're getting this now. You're getting a situation where it's becoming very disgusting out there. And that's here in New York City. And it's probably happening in other liberal cities as well. I mean, we've heard in San Francisco, they're shitting all over the place. I mean, to the point where they have an app where it's a shit spotter, you know, they basically it's on there. And that's starting to happen here, too. I mean, they haven't done an app yet, but you're finding shit all over the place. You're finding needles all over the place. You're finding garbage all over the place. Meanwhile, in his, in his incredibly idiotic wisdom, uh, Merrick Adams is, is sitting down there forcing people to buy their garbage cans to put back on the street because at one point in the in the 70s we used to put garbage cans out as far as the garbage for sanitation to pick up and that became an issue uh, it was easier to put them out as bags now they say well because of the rat population and stuff like that uh it'll help reduce the rat population but it's not going to this is not going to because you have a homeless situation you have an illegal migrant situation garbage is being thrown everywhere it is getting to be back it is similar to the 1970s and 80s, where you had like the, you know Fort Apache, the Bronx situation, you know garbage everywhere, and basically nothing being done. All you have, especially with sanitation, all you're doing is you're getting a reduction of workers to that nature. But one of the other major problems, and you know we have tourists here, we have families that come here with children, and we have families that live here with children that go out on a daily basis. They might go to the Times Square, they might take in a movie, they might go to the theater, they might take it in an event, they go to the park, the situation, they might take the subway, they might go out to Coney Island, they might come out here to Staten Island, we do have a beach out here, we do have some amusements, we do have a culture center and everything. But what's going on is that there's been an increase, a very high increase in self-gratification. Let's put it that way, because we, we have to be careful of some of the words we use. And this has been happening for quite some time now. And as far as the mayor goes, he hasn't discussed this. He hasn't looked into this issue. It's been brought up many times that basically this is talked about, and it's been kept hidden from the mainstream media. It's been hidden uh, for the general public. But it's happening. It is happening. It's been seen by people out there. And we got this from the New York Post. The New York Post happens to be one site that does discuss this. We happen to be another. Publix, and we're going to say it in this wording, public self-gratification self stores in New York with sickos um, exposing themselves and gratifying themselves in the open, in the open up 50 one percent that's right folks 51 percent oh that's not right no more sickos are publicly self-gratifying themselves on the streets of the big apple crime statistics shows a nauseating development critics have chalked up to lax laws and broken mental health system reports of pervs gratifying themselves out in the open soared 51% through June 30th, up to 378 complaints from 251 during the same period in 2023, according to the NYPD data. That's a lot of nuts! Meanwhile, the cops have issued only 159 criminal summonses through June 30th, citywide to New Yorkers um, taking it out and sometimes to uh, relieve themselves. A staggering 396% increase from the 32 tickets written in 2022, according to the city data. We, like I said, we had laws that handled this. 
and they're not being enforced as they used to do. They, they just handle a ticket. Used to be an arrest. There is too much junk I don't want to see in Greenwich Village resident uh, Brian Mahoney told The Post. Three weeks ago, a long-haired naked man uh, gratified himself while sitting in a chair outside Washington Square Diner in the pouring rain, according to the footage Malone shared with The Post. We will not show that here. Days later, a woman in his subway car decided to parade in front of the commuters in his birthday suit, he said. We are exhausted by it, Mahoney said. We're, tr we're trying for help, that we're pleading with our electors to help and basically get ignored. At a July meeting for the Community Board 1, which handles the financial district and Tribeca, residents raged over cops' failure to respond to their complaints about grime cover covered serial gratifier with a Marine Corps tattoo on his back. Captain Joel Rosenthal, commanding officer of the 1st Precinct, warned that the outraged locals that even if the police busted him in the act, the twisted um, gratifier would likely be cut loose in no time. This is a desk appearance ticket and a non-bail eligible offense so he will be out in two hours, he said. The push against incarceration together with the city's inability to hospitalize and effectively treat the se severely mental ill has driven the surge in the disturbing deviancy, according to Carol D. Gorman, a mental illness policy analyst in the Manhattan Institute. If we don't enforce law laws so individuals aren't in jails or prison and they're not receiving psychiatric treatment because of the mental health system, Deprioritize the mentally ill. These people are out on the streets, she said. But see, it's also happening in our subways. It's happening on our buses. I can tell you out here on Staten Island, it's happened on the bus. Unfortunately, my wife had to go through a situation not once, but twice, twice, where someone was taking care of himself on a bus. One was looking at a child while he was doing it. Do you understand that? Do you understand that why these laws need to be increased to the situation and not bailed? Understand, I understand. Some of these guys have mentally ill situations. But then you have, this is also giving certain, one, certain ones that basically shouldn't be out there, that they should be on a list of predatory predatorial list situation where basically, you know, this, this is a situation, this is really bad. This is really, really bad that, you know, I have to report something like this. Not the first time, not the last time, but it's going to continue. Our leaders have failed us. When you hit that, bo that booth, because we, right now that, Right, the we're about to come up to we have the presidential coming up behind that. We'll have the, the mayor election coming up as well. If those of you in New York think about for a minute, and those of you in other cities, remember when you hit that voter's booth, think about who's going to do the correct job out there, not for what color skin they have not for what gender they have, not for the, how can I put this, not for the um, sensationalizing another candidate's views by calling them things that they are not. You can agree and disagree with, with a particular candidate. You may not like a particular candidate to the situation, but look at their record. What have they done? What's the song? What have you done for me lately? Remember that song? I know he used to do shit for you, but what has he done for you lately? Think about what certain people have done and what some people haven't done. And what, what's been happening here in New York? The crumbling infrastructure, the destruction of the family, the destruction of New York City itself, the corporations, the small business owners, the situation... I can't even go into certain stores to get what I need and out quick. I have to wait 
for an associate to unlock a cabinet. Yeah, that's right. They unlock a cabinet. And the thing about it is, back a bit, and I, you know, recalled this situation, there were some people, certain minorities that were complaining that certain their products were getting put behind cabinets and the companies that were doing it were getting chastised. Oh, how racial that is. How racial that you do. But it's a product that was being ripped off on a constant basis, that was being shoplifted on a constant basis. Now everything is being shoplifted and everything is ending up back on the streets again. Now we have the issues where, you know, we got mentally ill people and guys who are cheese pizzaed to the situation, if you understand what, the, what I mean by that. They're self-gratifying themselves in the middle of New York City. Not behind a wall, not behind a car, not inside a doorway where you can't be seen. Out in the open, in front of restaurants, in front of families, in front of children, mind you. How many of them are doing it in a school, school park? How many of them are doing it in front of the schools? This situation needs to be resolved immediately. Stop pulling the race card. Stop pulling up the situations that you say, well, it's not my fault. It's somebody else's fault that hasn't been in office for a long time. Stop blaming and look at, your, look at yourself. And I'm talking about the, our, our leaders here in New York City. It is your fault. From Mayor Adams all the way to, to Albany and Kathy Hochul up there. They need to go. They need to be replaced by people that are going to do their job right, get the police back into action, and control what is going on. And obviously, obviously, the situation is to arrest these perverts, these malcontents, these, and, and guaranteed some of these people are illegal migrants as well. Remember also that most of the migrants that have come to New York City are mostly men. They said, but I, see, but I see families on this. Yeah, right. That's right. The cameras are focusing on that. But when you look carefully, look at the lines of people waiting. It's mostly men. Most, the, what they wanted to put out here in that school, they started out to be only men. And then they said, oh, okay, we'll bring a couple of, couple of families out there. But we finally got rid of that because it was in a school. Across the street was several schools. And it was going to be an issue. It's already an issue. We already have crime up around the, these, immig these immigrant shelters. You don't think that's happening there too? We're hearing the stories. The assaults that are coming through, and they won't admit that. It's happening. And you got this that's going on right out in the open. It's sick. It is sick. And they complain about the, the internet. They said, oh, it's because, you know, the inter children are seeing this on the internet. You're, they're seeing it out in the open. You're not doing nothing about that. You complain that, you know, oh, they, they might be watching something on the internet. But meanwhile, it is happening right there, live, you know, open, uncensored. Okay? So right now, I'm, this is what I want you to do. Comment in the comments line below. If you live in New York... Especially, please do this. If you live in another city in, in, in the U.S., is it happening there? If you're outside the United States, let me know if it's happening by you as well. It's very important. This is very important. Also, those of you who live in New York, contact your delegates in there. Let them know you are upset about this situation. Contact the mayor's office. Contact the governor's office. Contact your state officials. Because they're not doing anything about it. Left, right, up, down. It basically needs to be resolved. So comment, like, and be sure you share this video. It is very, very important that you do. And hopefully today's the day I earn your subscription. Thank you for the support. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for taking this moment to listen uh, to this crisis 
that is going on in New York City, which we need to resolve ASAP. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Have a good week. Check out all other videos here on Madman with the Show and Cutie Cast TV. Until next time, bye bye now. <laughs>